Assalamu alaikum Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim In this video we are going to discuss about mandible Mandible is the largest and strongest bone of face it has horseshoe shaped horseshoe shape means u shaped and then we will discuss about its body each mandible has one body this portion is called body and this portion is called ramus one body and two rami and then attachments on the mandible and at the last foramen and at a relation to nerves and the structure which are pass through passing through the foramina first of all we will see the body each half of the body has the outer surface and inner surface this is outer surface and this is inner surface the outer surface presents the following features the, uh, at the junction of the two uh, two, ha two halves of the mandible this point is called symphysis menti this is a, a line at which the right and left halves of the bone meet each other this portion is called symphysis menti and then at the below the symphysis menti there is a triangular area this area is called mental protuberance this is this is also called the chin and at the sides of mental protuberance there is elevations called mental tubercles as we move to side there there lies a uh, foramen below the incisor teeth this foramen is called mental uh, below the premolar teeth this uh, this is socket for the premolar teeth and this foramen is called the mental foramen and below the incisor teeth there is a groove which is called incisive fossa and on the lateral aspect this is oblique line which is the continuation of anterior border of ramus and this line moves downwards and forwards now we will see the structure which are present on the inner surface of the mandible on the posterior aspect of symphysis menti there lies four small elevation these are called superior and inferior genial tubercles and on the side on the third molar beneath the third molar teeth there is a strong ridge which starts from here and ends on the side of genial tubercles this ridge is called mylohyoid line below the mylohyoid line this is fossa this fossa is called submandibular submandibular fossa which lodges submandibular joint and above this mylohyoid line this fossa is called the sublingual fossa which possess the sublingual gland on the ramus the, there is a depression which is called this depression is called the mylohyoid groove which meets uh, the mylohyoid line of the body of the mandible the body of mandible has two borders the upper border and the lower border upper border bears socket for the teeth and the lower border is also called base and uh, be below the mental tubercle mental tubercles the, this is uh, this is, uh, circular area is called the digastric fossa now we will move towards the ramus of the mandible ramus of the mandible has two surfaces two surfaces this surface is called uh, is lateral surface and this is medial surface and four borders this is upper border this is lower border this is anterior border and this one is posterior border the lateral surface is flat and possess several small and oblique ridges these are the small and oblique ridges and the medial surface has the following uh, uh, structures this is called the mental uh, mandibular foramen mandibular foramen uh, the anterior margin of the mandibular foramen is called is elevated this portion is called the lingula and on, below the mandibular foramen this is there is a groove this groove is called mandibular groove which uh, runs uh, downwards and uh, for forwards and uh, meets the mandibular line sorry this is, there is mylohyoid groove which which 
meets the mylohyoid line the upper border of the ramus is thin the upper border is thin and curved uh, this is thin and curved and forms a mandibular notch this this is called the mandibular notch the lower border is a continuation of the base of the body of mandible and it forms a angle of the mandible this, this point is called the angle of the mandible the anterior border is thin the, the anterior border is sharp and thin and the posterior border is is thin the upper border of the uh, ramus possesses the two structures this is this is anterior triangular structure this stru structure is called coronoid process its anterior border continues with the anterior border of the ramus and posterior border continues as the uh, mandibular notch and on the posterior aspect here lies the condylite process this process has the uh, an upward projection this is called the head of uh, condylite process below the head this constricted area is called the neck of the condylite process this head articulates with the temporal bone to form the temporomandibular joint and on the anterior aspect of the neck uh, this there is a depression which is called pterygoid fovea and now we will discuss about the attachments which are present on the uh, now we will see the attachments on the body of the mandible first of all we see, we see the oblique line which is present on the lateral surface of the body of mandible above the oblique line on the upper surface there is a region of uh, buccinator muscle and above the buccinator muscle a superior constrictor muscle originates superior between the superior constrictor muscle and buccinator muscle there is pterygo mandibular raphe the pterygo mandibular raphe is a tendinous thickening of buccopharyngeal fascia which separates the region of buccinator muscle below and superior constrictor muscle above and on the lower part of the oblique line there is region of depressor labii inferior inferioris muscle here from here and from uh, here depressor anguli oris muscle and here lies the mental foramen through the mental foramen mental nerve and vessels pass below the mental foramen from the base of the body here here the platysma originates platysma muscle originates from the base of the body on the inner aspect on the mylohyoid line mylohyoid line mylohyoid muscle originates from the mylohyoid line and on the superior genial tubercles genioglossus muscle originates and from the inferior genial tubercles geniohyoid muscle originates and from the digastric fossa the anterior belly of digastric muscle originates these are the attachments on the body of the mandible now we see the attachments on the ramus of the mandible this is the ramus of mandible and as we see from the lateral aspect on the lateral aspect there is origin of the masseter muscle here lies the origin of the masseter muscle uh, insertion of the masseter muscle and on the anterior angle of the ramus uh, anterior border of the ramus and the coronoid process here is the lies the insertion of the temporalis muscle on both outer and inner aspect and on the inner uh, aspect of the ramus here lies the uh, insertion of uh, medial pterygoid muscle at the angle of ramus or the mandible and on the uh, neck of the condylite process here lies the uh, insertion of lateral pterygoid muscle lateral pterygoid muscle also insert here and lateral ligament of temporomandibular joint also attaches here and one muscle 
which originates from the incisor incisor fossa incisive fossa is the mentalis muscle below the mentalis muscle orbicularis oris muscle also originates and then now we will see about the uh, foramina and structure related to foramina first of all we will see the mental foramen through the mental foramen mental nerve and vessels pass and then we will see the on the lateral aspect of the mandibular notch here runs the mesenteric nerve and vessels and on the anterior aspect of the mesenteral uh, insertion of mesenteral muscle here passes the facial vessels and nerves these can be palpated on the inferior angle of the uh, on the inferior side of the angle of mandible and on the inner aspect below the condylite process here runs the auriculotemporal nerve and the artery superficial temporal artery here runs the superficial temporal artery and the, then the here the external carotid artery and, and in the mylohyoid groove nerve and artery to mylohyoid muscle uh, runs and on the upper part of the mylohyoid gr uh, groove here lies the uh, lingual nerve in the in this way structure is passing through the foramina also complete and the mandible explanation of mandible is complete thanks for watching